and welcome. I'm Jordan Short, and this is this year's final episode of The Bite. The RSHS High School continue to sell plants from 1 to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, but it will be open on Saturday, April 30th from 8 a.m. to noon. We would also like to remind students that May 9th is an extended school day. Of course, this doesn't matter to seniors who last full day of school will be May 4th. Just don't forget to come back for finals May 5th and 6th and graduation on May 12th. We also want to recognize the 11 students from the middle school and high school who will be competing in the global competition in Destination Imagination. The global tournament will be held in Kansas City, and the team would appreciate your support through the purchase of $5 Table Rock Lake Life Unsalted Decals. Please contact Ms. Robert Robin Verhine at the Intermediate School for more information. The baseball team just had a five-game winning streak, the last game being played against Springfield Central, where Jonathan Foster and Brandon Boyd each had three hits. The boys' tennis team beat Parkview 8-1 with Jaden McWork, Ben Todd, Spencer Todd, and Xander DeYeager winning their singles matches. In the game against New Covenant Academy, double team Ben Todd and Spencer Todd and singles Trenton Beeson saw victory. The track, track and field team saw several great moments at the Cassville Tournament, with Preston Blue Ball winning the triple jump, Alexis Baskin placing second in the pole vault, Dahlia Brand was third in the long jump, Jade Watson second in javelin, Chris Daniels in second place in the 100 meter dash and third in the 200, Caden Weast in second in the 200 and shot put, Addison Abshire was third in the 300 meter, meter hurdles, and James Dowdy was third in the long jump. The boys' 4x100 relay team placed first, and the boys' 4x200 placed second. At the Green Hills Invitational for Golf, Ty Cooper placed second, and Ethan Roger won the long drive competition at Aurora JV in Invitational. FBLA also saw several members advance to the national tournament, which will be held in Chicago this summer. These students are Jordan Short and Matt Greenwald, who placed fourth in broadcast journalism. Marin McCoy and Spencer Todd, who placed fourth in international business. Evan Bransma, who placed second in agribusiness. And Jordan Short and Evan Bransma, who are the state champions in entrepreneurship. Mr. Chris Funk will be the next assistant principal of Reed Spring High School, succeeding Mr. Brian Moeller, who will be the new director of the Gibson Technical Center. Mr. Funk has 19 years of educational experience and has worked in physical education and behavior intervention. Last but not least is the due date to register for the June 11th ACT is May 6th. To celebrate graduation, we have interviewed a variety of seniors in place of our traditional interview. Uh, my name is Matthew Beans Greenwalt. Hi, my name is Shiley Gasper. Hunter Langston. Caleb Sharp. My name is Lizzie Murray. My name is Ashley Gregg. Hunter, what is your favorite memory you've made here at Reed Spring High School? My favorite high school memory which it's hard to do with four years, would probably be, um, I'd say running the flag at football games for every touchdown we scored. My favorite, favorite memory is when Caleb Sharp first approached me in government class, Mr. Doherty's, because he is the first friend I made at Reed Spring High School, and it was about halfway into the semester, and I, did, I would go days without talking, so it was pretty cool that Caleb came and approached me. Um, my senior basketball season this year, um, obviously had its up and downs, but senior night was honestly an experience that I was always told about to be like really excited for, and I was like, oh, it's just another basketball game. No, it was a completely different feeling. Um, stadium, I mean, the, the gym was packed. Par all the seniors' parents were there. All of us were together, and all of us just knew, like, hey, like this is – I've played this sport for 13 years of my life, and it's my last time to do it with my best friends. It really, it really sinks in just like how – grown up I'm gonna have to be here in a couple months but just like that game the emotions how much fun it was I mean that's by far the greatest memory my favorite memory I would have to say it's when I first met Jet Phipps you know we met over you know PE that's when we first met and it was one of the best experiences of my life meeting a friend that could truly understand me my favorite memory would probably be math class with Miss Janie Curtis. She's so fun, as well as French class. I had them both last year. They were two out of three of my classes, and I always felt bad that she was stuck with me for two hours. But my favorite memories are definitely 
made in her classroom. She's just a great teacher. My favorite memory is senior prom night, and I got peanut butter spread on my toes. Uh, what was your favorite thing you've learned here, either academically or spiritually? Favorite thing I've learned here? I've learned that this school changes people for the better. It makes you become a better person in general. And I just learned so many different things here that it's impossible to pick out one thing. I think my favorite thing that I have learned here was probably How to Tie a Tie by Mr. Kessinger. Yeah, so I would say probably the biggest thing I've learned is just the importance of community, um, especially me growing up even before high school. Um, this community has helped me with the struggles with my family, such as my sister and my cousin, um, with financial help, just lending a helping hand, and especially showed when I got to the high school um, just how well all of us band together to help people in need through like the food drive and Miracle Wolf Lane, and it just makes me realize like how much life, like life's hard, but life is easier when you have other people around you that support you no matter what, which is probably the biggest thing I've learned is that community matters. Like wherever I go, wherever I will go, like number one importance, one of the most important things, depending where I want to live, is just how the community is. Um, I'd say the, mo the thing I had the most fun learning would probably be history with uh, Mr. Sego. He just made it a fun class and very interesting. My favorite thing was Mr. Locke's classroom. He taught me how to operate the cameras alongside of everyone else in Honor Swift TV, and that led me on to my journey of wanting to pursue, pursue a career in computer science and cybersecurity. The favorite, my favorite thing I've learned is to use the pottery wheel in Mr. Essex's classroom. Super fun. Can't do it anymore, though. I have nails. And what are your future plans? Um, my future plans is to attend, oh, believe it or not, Missouri State University. I know it's a uh, it's a rare college to say you're going to. I'm sure there'll be other candidates probably going to say that too. But um, yeah, I'm attending Missouri State University. Um, I mean, uh, my major is in secondary education, so the dream is to be a teacher and a coach, and hopefully one day be an administrator. Um, yeah, just get through college four years, have fun while doing it, um, become an adult. I guess that's the plan. What's the plan, Nathan? My future plans, I'm going to go to the University of Arkansas to get a degree in International and Global Studies with a focus in Peace, Security, and Human Rights. From that, I will found a nonprofit for people with special needs in third world countries. This aiding towards more of a missions organization. I plan to attend College of the Ozarks and study Agronomy and Agriculture. My future plans are to go to MSSU and get a degree in Information Technology, and from there, um, I'm going to go to Jura University to study sustainable architecture. Cybersecurity! I went to, I'm going to Southeast Missouri State University this fall, and then I will go into a four-year degree, maybe more. We'll see where that leads me, and yeah. And this concludes our final interview with the Bible. I want to thank each and every viewer out there who has made the 21-22 season such a truly enjoyable experience. It has been my pleasure to interview each and every single person that I've had on this series. For one final time, I'm Nathan Kruger. This has been The Bite, and we'll get back to Jordan. This is a bittersweet moment here at The Bite Studio as we film our last episode of our first season. And there are so many people we would like to thank, such as Mr. Locke, Dr. Suter, and all of our viewers for making this show possible. I'm Jordan Short, signing off, and this... Just the bike.